In this activity, called What is More Important Than God, the children will learn how everyday activities can become more important to us than God if we're not careful. The children will hear everyday scenarios and decide what has become more important than God in each situation. Okay, boys and girls, are we ready to get started? I'm going to read some short stories about kids that are a lot like you. When I'm done, I want, to I want you to tell me what became more important than God in each story. Please raise your hand when you think you know the answer. Ready for the first story? Even though he knew he had church in the morning, Josh stayed up very late Saturday night playing video games. In the morning when he went to church, he could barely pay attention and he nodded off several times. Can anybody tell me what is more important to Josh than God? Colin. Video games. Video games, exactly right, good job. Okay, here's the next story. Emily had promised God that she would spend time praying in the morning before going to school. However, she stayed up late chatting online and then she didn't wake up in time to pray. What was more important to Emily than God? Chad. That's almost right. Computer time with chatting with who? Friends, exactly right. Emily was spending more time with her friends than spending with God. Kevin volunteered to help straighten up the room after church, but after service he was really hungry, so he went home to eat lunch instead. What was more important to Kevin than God? Jenny, you look like you know. Eating lunch, exactly right. Food was more important than God to Kevin. After you finish reading all the situation cards, then you'll close out the activity something like this. Boys and girls, we finished reading all of our stories. Can you remind me of a few things that our friends put in front of God? Video games. Video games, exactly right. Friends, food, that's right too. Boys and girls, there's absolutely nothing wrong with talking with friends or playing video games or even grabbing something to eat when you're, when you're hungry. The problem is when we put those things in front of God. So let's do our very best never to let that happen and to always put God first in our lives.